if you're a podcaster and you do video podcasts, what you're going to need is YouTube thumbnails. You, you, you're going to need YouTube thumbnails. You're not just going to want to make your video and just whatever thumbnail YouTube picks for you. You don't want them to use that. What you want to do is make great thumbnails. And to do that, you don't have to buy expensive software. You don't have to buy Photoshop. There's no need to spend a whole bunch of money for something that you can do free with PowerPoint. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft PowerPoint to create YouTube thumbnails. Stick around. You're watching a Start to Finish Podcasting Quick Tip. Brought to you by the Start to Finish Podcasting TV Network with Andre Lewis. So welcome to the Start to Finish Podcasting TV Network. And today I'm going to show you how to make thumbnails, YouTube thumbnails with PowerPoint. Now, as I stated before, you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on software when you can do it for free with uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. I see so many people feel that they got to pay for the best software to get the best results when it's not necessarily true. You can get, you can get some good results with Microsoft PowerPoint. And I'm going to show you that today. I'm going to show you in some of the videos um, that not some, some of the videos. I'm going to show you some of the thumbnails that I've created for my YouTube videos. And you know, you'll be the judge. You tell me if you like them or not. Um, I just don't like to see people spend a lot of money. And there's a lot of people who do it because someone who's, you know, some video king or big time video podcaster may say, hey, get this. I use this. You don't have to use what everybody else uses. And that's one thing I stress a lot. You definitely don't have to use everything um, that everybody else uses. I, I've seen a lot of um, podcasters who do video podcasts you know, they recommend this stuff like you have money to burn. They, they say, well, get this and get that. And it's, just, it's very easy for them to say, hey, look, get this and get that. They may have the revenue and they may have the funds to do that, but they don't realize that everybody doesn't have that type of money to buy expensive software or just to be paying um, monthly fees for um, software that you can get free. Not so much that software you can get free, but other software you can get free to do the same job. So don't spend all your money. Don't listen to um, someone tell you to get this Photoshop or or get this um, whatever it may be because they used it. Don't don't trap yourself into doing that. I know a lot of podcasters who just buy stuff just because someone told them to somebody that's real um, well known in the podcast industry. So you definitely don't want to do that. I'm an advocate for telling you not to buy something just because a big podcast name told you to do it. Um, as you'll see with PowerPoint, you're going to make, you can make some great thumbnails and you know, it'll do the job. So I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to delay. Let's go to the video that I made um, showing you how to create YouTube thumbnails free with Microsoft PowerPoint. Okay. So this is what my YouTube page looks like with all the thumbnails that I've done. This here is one I did to advertise one of my podcast episodes where I had Eric. Um, this one was a comparison between hardware and software compressors, which um, was a real good episode. I like using that particular um, thumbnail because it was kind of bright and it, it really stands out. Here, this was just a... I didn't actually, I didn't use this thumbnail, but this is a video that I'm going to do. Um, the ATR 2020 audio technica rather 2020 with the DBX 286. So I'm going to use this thumbnail for that one. Um, it looks pretty, pretty decent. Um, this one here is one I did for a client. This one here, um, green sister project. You know, she just wanted to advertise, some of her, um, her services with a consultation. So I did a, um, cover art for that. So she kind of posted that on Facebook and other social media outlets. So that's, that was one of them that she, um, actually used for consultants. This one here 
um, she used this one. This is one I did also. She used this one to get guests on her show, on her podcast. Um, so I designed that one also. Um, all of this is done with Microsoft PowerPoint. Um, so it was cool doing that because, it, you know, kind of gave me a whole bunch of creative ideas, adding some of this stuff in, um, taking some of it out. And that's, this is what I came up with. This one here, I was doing a review of the Zoom H6 and I really love this uh, particular thumbnail. I had fun making it. It was kind of shows my personality a little bit. So I kind of like that one. Um, that one was a good one for me to do. I really enjoyed it. Now here are some of the podcast cover arts that I've done. I've done one for the Green Sister Project. Um, done one for her podcast. Uh, of course, I did one for Start to Finish Podcasting. And I also did this one. This one was a basic one when I first started doing podcast cover art. Um, I would have added some more on here. But um, this one, uh, the In the Lounge with Dre and V, that's the podcast I do with my wife. So these are the uh, podcast cover arts that I've used. Um, and I made them with PowerPoint. So, uh, PowerPoint is not bad. It's not bad. Don't spend all this money, you know, um, buying all this expensive equipment when you can just use something that's free and it's something that does the job. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I made these. So I'm going to go right into it. I'm not going to wait. I'm going to show you how I made these using PowerPoint. So let's go to the video right now. Okay, so now we are going to create our YouTube thumbnail. And this is the, the process that I'm about to show you is the same process for creating your podcast cover art. So the first thing you want to do is open up PowerPoint. And I'm use, using version 2011. Um, they'll give you a choice of backgrounds here. You know, they got a lot of good backgrounds, but I create my own. So I'm going to go with the blank one here. I'm going to remove this and you can remove this by clicking on it and making sure you get this right here, this, um, arrow that goes different ways and you click and hit delete and you'll get rid of it. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is something you don't have to do. Um, I just like doing this because I kind of like to set my background first before I put a title or a picture in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my background first. And what I'm going to do is add a shape. And like I said, you don't have to do this. You can just start with your um, title and any photo you want to put on there. But um, I start with um, this first. So I'm going to go to basic shapes and I'm going to put in, I'm going to choose a triangle. So you would take that triangle. I'm going to drag it from corner to corner. All right. Perfect. Now this is the color. Um, you can choose different colors. All you would have to do is highlight this, um, particular triangle and you'll go up here. Now let's just say you want it red and there's your red. Let's say you wanted blue. There would be your blue. Uh, so you can choose any color. I'm going to choose this color here. I kind of, like this color here. Let me just see what else I have here. No, I think I'll go with the blue. I'm going to go with this blue right here. Okay. So right here, we have the background. We're already set. Everything um, is looking good so far. So this is my background. I like to set up my background first. Um, that's just what I do. So you don't have to, you can put in your text first or anything. Um, but I like to set up my background first. Um, so now, now that I put in my background, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting in my text. So I'm going to go to insert text box and I'm going to do that right here. You'll just put it, uh, put the cursor where you want the mouse, where you want the arrow, where you want it to start. So I want to start about right here. And the title of this is going to be creating 
your podcast cover art. You know what I'm gonna I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna change it to creating and but and by the way, this thumb this particular uh thumbnail that I'm that we're that you're seeing right now that I'm making is what I'm gonna use for the video when I post it on YouTube. So right now I'm gonna put I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna put uh creating your YouTube thumbnail using let me make sure I got that right using and then I'm going to go PowerPoint. So let me, I'm not going to type PowerPoint. What I'm going to do is I like to add, um, because it's PowerPoint and I just want that to stand out. I'm going to use a separate box for that. So I'm going to insert another text box and I'm going to put PowerPoint. All right. So right here we have the title. Now, you, of course, we're going to change the fonts. So I like to go, let's see what it looks like here. So you put these in and I'm going to go a little bit smaller with that, with a 48. And I like that there. And what I'm going to do is move this. Okay. So now what we have here, all right, let's see. Let me pull it out back a little bit. All right, so what we have here is the title. So it looks pretty good. I, I like the way it looks. I like this black with the um, applying to the apply to the blue and the white. So now we're going to do the PowerPoint. So we'll highlight that, and I want this to stand out a little bit bigger than this here. So I'm going to go 72. And you can play with this. You don't have to get it right on the first time. Um, so we'll say, I'm going to line this up. All right. And I like to make this stand out. So I'm going to bold this. And I'm going to switch the um, type of letters. See that changes that and you can just drag that out, but I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. So it's not too big. So I'll go to a 60. Let me see how that looks. Um, this is okay. Now with PowerPoint, you know, the colors are, um, like orange and white. So I'm going to try to see what this looks like. Cause I want this to stand out. So I'm going to make this, I'm going to try this one white. And this one, I'm going to make it orange just to see how, uh oh, let's see. All right, I'm going to make this orange. And let me finish making that one orange. All right, so right here, um, it says power, you know, the PowerPoint, it, it stands out, but I don't really like it. I'm going to try to switch this to orange and this. Can't switch it to white because if I switch it to white, it's going to not show. So you watch on the white surface right here is where it's not going to show. So I'm going to switch this to black and see how that looks. Now this is not bad. Um, I don't really particularly like um, how it looks. So, um, you can play with this a little bit, um, or you can just keep it black. So I'm going to change it back to black. Uh, what you can do, um, if you don't want to change those colors, you can grab a, um, you can grab a icon. So let me just see here. Uh, let's see, let's try this here. That doesn't work. Let's try this here. So we'll drag this photo right here. 
Now this is the key. This is the key. And I'm going to do another video on how to remove the background. So all I want is this here and this and this and this outline. I don't want any of this here. Okay. So what you do is you highlight it, which it is, you'll see these dots here and you'll go remove background. When you do that, all the purple is what's going to be removed. So I don't want this or any of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this up. You see this right here is still purple. So I don't, I want to, it's, it's taking out some of the, this orange box. So I'm going to move this up a little bit. Okay. So now it has the orange box. And then once I do that, I'm going to click remove background. All right, so let me go back because it didn't remove this. So let me go back now. So I'm going to move this back up to get that this part of the box clear. And this, because this is not purple, it's going to show when I click the remove background, it's still going to remain here. So what you do is put the mouse right here and you can just hold on and drag and it'll remove it. See, there's still some here, so I'll hold the mouse down and draw the line and clean it up. And it did it. Okay. Sometime it'll clean up most of it, but you know, you'll just, if it didn't clean up this part over here, you would have repeated those steps. So now I have everything taken out except the PowerPoint, um, these logos right here in these boxes. So I'll click remove. And now I have it here. Now, uh, what I can do is make this smaller. All right. And by making it smaller, I can put this here. So instead of me changing this color to orange, you know, it kind of helps out a little bit, or you can just put it here. Um, you know, I don't know how it would look here. I guess that would look okay. All right. So I'll, I'll put it here, but use, you know, I might put it here. I might put it there. So it's PowerPoint, um, the logo. So that's, you know, I'm going to do another video on how to remove that background because it's not hard, but, um, I think I need to do a separate video. I'm going to make this a little bitter, bitter, <laughs> a little bigger because, you know, this is going to be a thumbnail. So you want to make sure they see the PowerPoint, um, logo here. All right. So that's that. Now look what we've got so far. So far we've had, we have, let me save this because, um, I'm going to call it project. I like to save this because for some reason, um, on when I'm using PowerPoint, it freezes up and I don't know why. And then I would have to start all over. So, um, I'm going to save it, which is what I did. So now it's starting to look real good, isn't it? Um, so now what I'm going to do is put, um, my picture here. So you don't have to do that. You don't have to put your picture. Um, you can just leave it, leave it, um, blank over here. Or you can put something here to make it look nice. Um, but I'm going to put my picture here. So here it is. I'm going to, this is my photo. I'm going to drag it here. All right. Now right here is a green screen. I took that so I can remove the background very easy. So what I'm going to do right now is remove this background. Remember, I'm going to do it the same way we did this one here. So I'm going to highlight it. And then I'm going to go to remove background. And all the purple is what's going to be taken out. So right now, if I hit remove background again to clear it, all of this will be white. But then you're still going to have some green here because it's not purple, meaning it's not it's not going to take this out. So what you want to do, and also it's going to take out my arm here, right here, because it's purple. So let me move this over a little bit. So now it's not going to take out my arm, but it's going to take out my boots because they're purple. So let me move this down a little bit. Okay, so now it's there. And you notice that it's taking out the purple here now. So it looks like all the purple has been taken. Is, uh, everything that I want taken out has been taken out. So I'm going to hit remove background again. And boom, there it is. Now look, this, you know, it, it does an okay job, but because it's going to be a thumbnail, you see how blurry it looks right here. Uh, once, once it's, once I finish this and it's a thumbnail, you're not going to see that. It's going to look more like, um, 
this. So you really can't see the blurriness that you see when we're doing it. So let me just move this back. I think it was 126. All right. So here we go. We have that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop this. You don't have to do that, but this box will kind of gets in my way when I'm doing other stuff. Um, so let me just crop it. So you would highlight it, hit format crop and I'm going to move this over here. Nothing's going to be done to the picture. I'm just cropping the picture. Move this down just a little bit. All right. So here we go. Now I'm going to hit crop again and now it's a lot smaller. So, okay. You have me here and you can make, this bigger. All right. So I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. I like it bigger because this is a thumbnail. So you got to make sure everybody sees it. So let me just move this up a little bit. All right. So that's what we have now. So right now, I mean, it looks good. It does not, you know, it's just a basic thumbnail. Now here, um, you can say that you're finished and you can go on and do what you have to do in terms, and I'll, and I'll get to that step, but I want to add a few thumbnails down here that I've done with PowerPoint so people can actually see some of them. So what I'm going to do is grab a few that I did. And this is the start to, this is the start to finish podcasting logo. And I did this using a, um, using PowerPoint. So once you drag it on here, it'll be big and you can just reduce it. So we'll reduce it like there. And what I will do is drag two more on here that I've done. Done this one and I'll drag this one. Let me close that out here. All right. And I want to make sure these are even too. So they're pretty even. All right. And I'm going to do put one more here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, I'll use this one because this is another logo. Uh, I mean, a uh, thumbnail that I did for my start to finish podcasting quick tips, uh, YouTube channel. So let me shorten that a little bit. And you you know, you got the ability to kind of play with this and the size and all of that stuff. So I'm going to move that up and it pod, uh, podcast PowerPoint lets you know if it's even, you see these lines here, it'll let you know when you're moving it. All right. So I'm going to move this over just a little bit. And if I want to see to make sure it's even up here, I'll move this up here. And there's that line right there to let me know that it's even. And now all I have to do is measure the line here. So there we go. All right. So here, you know, some people might say, oh, well, it looks a little crowded. So you don't have to put these here. You know, they look, it does look kind of crowded, but I'm just going to make them a little smaller. So that way they don't look too crowded on the thumbnail, uh, clip art. Well, not clip art on the thumbnail. All right, let's see. It should be about even. Yep, that's even. And I'm going to do this one the same way. All right. So they're all even in the same size. Let me just spread them out a little bit. All right, so that looks about even. I would say that's about even. And that's it. This is it. I mean, this is simple. It's 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 right there for you. Um, didn't take long. Very easy. Now, this stuff like here, there's a couple of tricks you can do with this. Um, 
like let's just say you want it if I want to face the other way I'd move it like that and then I would face that way which makes no sense because it's better to face the other way so I'm just gonna go back and put it back there and this is your um your thumbnail this is your thumbnail right here uh, and and it's your it's your cover art too to be honest with you um your podcast cover art because it's the same format. You do it the same way, but this is just a thumbnail and your other design may just be the cover art to your podcast, such as this one here, this one, or this one. Um, so right now, now that you're finished with this, uh, and you, you know, you can probably do something extra too, if you wanted to, um, uh, let me just show you, I might not do this like this microphone. You can throw it in here. Okay. Now this microphone you see how this white box is here? It's because I didn't remove the background, that white box. So what I'm gonna do is remove the background. Remember I said you highlight it, hit remove background. And it looks like everything is gonna be removed, even some of the part of the mic. So you don't want that. So you wanna move this over. And you wanna move this over because some of that's gonna get covered. And now it looks like it's fine. Let me just move it over a little bit more. All right. And then I'm going to hit remove background again. So now I have this microphone. So I can go like this. I can flip it with this, this green button here. And I can make it small. Let me just make it smaller. So, I mean, if you wanted to do you know, some different stuff and you want to have a microphone there or something, which looks terrible. I don't really like microphones there because it's just like overdoing it. You keep it simple and this is fine. So I'm going to save it. What did I just do? Print it. <laughs> I'm going to save this. All right. So now we have our image. Now, now you, what you're going to have to do is um, turn it into a file, a, a, a photo. Um, so what I do is I will go, because this is PowerPoint, I'm going to go to the um, slideshow. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a screenshot of this. So I just did a screenshot and I'm going to exit out of this. Now I can put this in minimum cause I'm done with PowerPoint. And here's the screenshot. Okay. I'm going to rename this. I'm going to name this to how, what can I name this to? Um, YouTube. thumbnail using PowerPoint. All right. So this is the screenshot. And what I'm going to do is if you have a Mac, this is how you do it with windows. I'm not sure. Um, but this is how you do it with a Mac. I'm going to take this and I'm going to drag it to where I want. It's kind of like cropping. So I'm basically cropping this picture. All right. And then I'm going to go to tools and crop. So now I have my picture here and this is my thumbnail. So what I'm going to do is because it's, with YouTube, you got to have, um, certain pixel size that, that works. And I think the pixel size is 12 something. I don't know what it is, but I can show you. So right now I'm going to show you the size of this picture. So desktop, let me, uh, tag it red. Okay. So that's this one. So if I click on this right here, it says the dimensions is 3,061 times 2290. We don't want that for our YouTube thumbnail. We have to change that. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to the YouTube requirements by using this program. Um, Magic light. I use this all the time to change the pixel size of my photos. So I click that. And by default, I have the YouTube required um, pixel size that works for me. So I'll put it in here, drag it in, and then I'm going to, I have the size already in here and I'm going to click convert. All right. So now that I've done that, it opens up a full, it creates a folder. And now this, this is the size for YouTube. So right here. So let me show you. And this is what I would use for my YouTube thumbnail. Okay. Um, if I use this one, which is a lot more clear, um, it won't work. I don't, I don't think it'll tell me that the size is too big, I believe. Um, but even though this one's more clear than this one, it's not going to matter because with a thumbnail, it's going to be minimized so much that it's going to look fine. Anyway, you can't really tell it's blurry. So, um, it'll be fine with that. And that is it. That's it right there. I mean, that's it. This is how you do a thumbnail, a YouTube thumbnail using PowerPoint. So I hope you learn from this. I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, you definitely can leave a comment. You, you can reach out to me um, at start to finish podcasting at gmail.com. But this is how you do it. And uh, I hope you learn from this. I hope this um, helps you out. If it does, just leave me a comment. Let me know how um, this worked for you. Thank you for watching the Start to Finish Podcasting TV Network.